Coalition Office of Submarine Registration. Applicant ID 28-66-30-83-01. Model, Rains, Mark III. The Rains Pattern Transport Class Submersible is the thrice retrofitted offspring of an Earth-produced model of orbital combat frigate, modified to change its environment from space to deep diving operations. The original celestial combat vessels were placed in low orbit to protect early colonization efforts and to provide communication until more permanent comm relays could be established. As the colonies grew and the coalition came into power, however, keeping these ships was deemed a strain on resources and the vessels were brought planet side to Adonis Linea. The hope was they could be retrofitted and made to run on more commonly available fuels, but the lack of European based manufacturing at the time made this little more than a pipe dream. While the orbital vessels sat perpetually in dock, most of them were slated for disassembly for valuable electronic components. However, due to a combination of logistical error and dedicated caretakers, one vessel, named the Cushing, was preserved from this disassembly process. A number of like-minded station staffers, who had saved the ship, came together to use their brakes to help maintain the vessel and discuss its history with visitors. In time, this little hobby group would go on to found the Museum of Colonial History, which was happy to claim the Cushing as its crown jewel. During this 10-year stay on Adonis Linea, curators discovered that the Rains manufacturers had concluded a section of older hull plating within the command section. This piece of iron was dated to just before the dawn of the 21st century. Whether this was done out of sentimental value or for superstitious reasons is currently unknown. The vessels would have remained there as well-kept pieces of colonial history, if not for the daring separatist attack on Adonis Lenia. While far more stories are focused on the actions of the Humpback Squadron and its prolonged engagement with the Traitor Fleet, the Reigns Mark I actually made its debut in the same incident. During the fighting, Adonis Linea's third deck was struck by a stray railgun shell. While the shell's UEX warhead proved to be a dud, the impact was enough to decouple the entire eastern module from the main station, sending it plummeting off the side as the wound allowed water to pour inside. Thinking fast, the museum staffers funneled any surviving personnel they could find into the Cushing, and after some minor technical difficulties, managed to coax its hydrogen engines into starting despite the vessel's newfound position as a makeshift submersible. Though its performance in the battle couldn't be described as anything more than passable, the Cushing was credited with a successful kill shot on a Separatist Dugan during the attack, and safely managed to dock with one of the station's upper ports once the fighting had died down. Despite the vessel's sudden appearance and the damage it sustained from operating in such unfavorable conditions, the design was catalogued and has seen several improvements since, now fitting the following technical specifications. Measuring in at just shy and 32 meters in length, the Reigns class is equipped with a full suite of industrial fabrication equipment, all of unbranded earth make, and a cargo capacity of 16 standard containers. The vessel's twin hydrogen engines, while intended for space travel, perform adequately underwater, giving it a top horizontal velocity of roughly 22 kilometers per hour. Its secondary hydrogen tank, which is converted into a central ballast, provides a top descent velocity of 12 km per hour. To help combat the risk of ballast flora, the command room also features a manual kill switch for each of the ballast bumps. In line with its origins as a spacefaring vessel, the Rains class is equipped with a powerful Terran-made reactor capable of outputting a full 10 gigawatts at full tilt. However, it requires multiple fuel cells to reach this capacity which can greatly increase the risk of fires and meltdowns if handled by an inexperienced engineer. To help manage more limited power outputs, the command room has a selection of controls that enable manual kill switches for high power drain systems such as fabrication or oxygen. For defense purposes, the Reigns class is equipped with two sets of twin-linked Volt model coil guns, just rear of central sail and keel. It also features a pair of Stinger electrical discharge coils just forward of each turret for creature deterrence. The final highlight of the Reigns class is the ship's computer, which still handles a number of subsystems, including automatic control of oxygen generation, automatic battery recharge systems, and a passive collision avoidance system that will attempt to decelerate before impact with a glacial wall or other solid object. 
as the Reigns class itself was Earth-made and the technical specifications lost, the Mark 1 and 2 were not available for public use. The Mark 3, however, a reproduction model using European-made materials, is occasionally built to order by Adonis Linea shipyards. A potent, if unusual vessel, the Reigns class is a reported favorite of many of Europa's venerable captains and original colonists. The Cushing's maiden European voyage is a testament to the class's adaptability and its performance under pressure.